Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to add animated labelling to a model photo in Photoshop and Illustrator. This video follows on from the previous tutorial looking at adding annotations onto a model photo in Illustrator. And what I've done is I've set up this simple annotation showing a certain area of the model which is hatched in using this yellow hatch and then I've annotated this just using a couple of lines and some text to tell you what that particular area of the model is. Now you'll see I've got six layers set up in my Illustrator file and each of these are highlighting another piece of the model and annotating it showing exactly what that area of the model is. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using these six layers to start to annotate and add an animation of these annotations so it will cycle through each of the layers showing each area of this model highlighted like so but automatically in our Photoshop file. And we're going to use Photoshop's animation timeline mode to achieve this effect. So what I need to do is I first need to export out these individual layers from Illustrator so I can import them into Photoshop and overlay them back onto my photograph. So to do that I'm just going to hide my base model photo. I'm going to zoom out and we're just going to show each frame. So we've got the first frame here. I'm just going to go File export, export as. We're going to find our folder which we're saving it in. We'll make sure we're using artboards so the image is constrained to the artboard we have. And instead of JPEG we're going to make sure we save it out as a PNG. And the reason for this is that PNGs have a transparency embedded within them so if you save it as a JPEG you'll get a white background on this if we save it as a PNG we'll just have the line work and text that we want and we won't have any white background. So we'll just call this one and what I'm going to do is we'll stick OK. And we're just going to do the same for each of these layers. Same process just going export, export as and making sure it's a PNG. So what you should end up with there is six images like this of each of those frames of annotation all as a PNG file showing each one isolated in its own file. Now what we're going to do is we're going to load these into Photoshop as these six files and the way we're going to do this is because we've selected them all from the same artboard frame here we can actually load them in as a stack of images into Photoshop. So if we open up Photoshop, go File, Scripts and Load Files into Stack, we're then going to find where those photos are saved. And it will just come up with this menu here. We can select all six of those, just selecting the first one, holding the shift key and selecting the last. Hit OK. And they'll load into this load layers option like so. And once those are in we can hit OK. And that will then automatically load them into Photoshop like this. And you can see them here just loading up one on top of the other and because they're PNGs they've got that transparency so they'll load up kind of overlaid one on top of the other. So there we have all six loaded in and you'll see if I turn them on and off they're each kind of overlaid one on top of the other like so. Now let's turn this into a simple animation so if we go to window and open up Photoshop's timeline effects there We'll open up this timeline window. I usually drag and dock this down at the bottom here, and we can create a frame animation from these. And this would just make a single frame of animation, which we can then add more frames to if we want to extend that animation out. Now, what we can do is because we've loaded in our six frames here, we can actually then go to the top right of our timeline menu and select Make Frames from Layers. If we do that, we'll then get six frames for each of our layers. And if we hit play, you'll see it will quickly just pan through each of those frames, showing it like that. Now, we're going to slow these down and make this kind of animation a bit smoother. But before we do that, we're going to actually load in our background model photo back into the image. Now we've got that animation set up. So what I'm going to do is let's locate that model photo here. I'm just going to drag and drop it into my Photoshop file and it's just come on, on the top layer there and then what we can do is I'm just going to drag it down to the bottom and because I aligned my um, annotations in my Illustrator file to that artboard 
this should automatically line up with my model photo and we'll just do a quick test run here and there you can see that those are lining up well so we're pretty much there with our animation now all we now need to do is if we stop that select all our frames in our timeline here where it says zero seconds we can open this up and we can turn it to two seconds for instance and what that would do now is it would be much slower and you'll see that it's kind of cycling through each of these every two seconds showing each of those areas in annotations um, and that is pretty much all there is to it it's just adding a simple animation to a series of annotations on a model and what you can do now is we could export this as a video file from Photoshop and use it in a kind of larger video if you wanted or on your portfolio pages by importing that video file into InDesign. To export out as a video from Photoshop all we need to do is go file, export and then render video here and under render video you can select what type of video file you want to do and render it out and that will save this annotation or this animation sorry as a video file and depending how long or how many seconds you've set to it will kind of render it for that length of time so that was just a quick tutorial on how to add animation and animated annotations to a model photo in Photoshop and Illustrator thank you for watching